It's a Mississippi police department. The civil rights organization Julian has filed a suit on behalf of five black plaintiffs whose allegations include excessive use of force, targeted traffic stops, and harassment by the Lexington Police Department. Now, ABC News has reached out to the police department and to the mayor's office, but we did not receive a comment. We are, however, joined now by Julian founder, Jill Colin Jefferson, and a resident of Lexington, Tasha Walden. Thank you both for being here. Uh, let's start with an incident that some people may have heard of that's included in the suit. Uh, I know, Jill, this summer, your organization obtained and released an audio recording that allegedly had the police chief, Sam Dobbins, who's a defendant on this suit, using racist and homophobic slurs. Now, at the time he told the Mississippi Center for Investigative Reporting, he, he denied using those racial slurs or any other slurs. He said he doesn't speak that way, but he was fired. What role do you think he plays in how this police department runs now? You know, first, thank you for having us. Defendant Dobbins, the role that he plays is that he still to this day is basically a part of this police force. He has continued to patrol this town in the passenger seat of an on-duty police vehicle with an on-duty officer. So in terms of how what he did influences the way that this, this entire agency works, the way that this town functions, is that one, it continues to function in his shadow. His dominance is still there. And the officers he trained, the ones that he supervised and condoned their unconstitutional acts, they're still on that force and they're continuing to carry out those actions to this day. And these actions, it seems, uh, at least according to your suit, are pretty widespread here. You say in your suit that in the past year or so, Black citizens have filed more than 200 complaints against this to pol police department. We're talking about allegations of using roadblocks to target black residents. Tasha, you're a member of the community. Can you tell us some of the things that you might have experienced or seen? Uh, yes. Uh, roadblocks following you home out of the, out of the city limit. Uh, harassment, even when you're walking down the streets when you're young and black for no reason. Tasha, do, do you think that this is something that maybe you think you've experienced or, or is everybody in your community kind of aware about this happening? As of now, they are because it's, it's more than me. It's uh, basically 99% of the blacks. Everyone aware of it. Uh, Jill, I know that yes. your filing has a lot of, of allegations. We have some images up, uh, up on our screen that are part of the suit. Can you explain uh, what's happening in these photos? Yes. So in that photo there, LPD is arresting Darius Harris. He is one of the plaintiffs in the suit. On New Year's Eve, Darius and his brother Robert, another plaintiff, they were shooting fireworks on their private property. LPD came and harassed them, citing a violation of the fireworks ordinance. Um, what they actually cited was not even law. Um, the brothers told them to leave their property. LPD would not leave. Without warning, they tase Darius. That image that you see is Darius. He fell to the ground after they tased him. And in that image that you saw, Sam Dobbins went to Darius and actually shone his flashlight in his face when he's on the ground and told him to put his hands behind his back. Darius at that moment, was it, that was physically impossible. The electricity is still coursing through his veins and they're telling him to put his hands behind his back. So that is one of the incidents that happened there and they had been targeted multiple times before